Miss Fuel, you say that Mr. Burnett is refusing to admit that he is your biological father. You say the only reason he's denying you is because he would rather drag your mother's name through the mud than take responsibility for his actions. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Burnett, you say Miss Fuel has been given false information about her paternity and she used that to badger, humiliate, and harass you. You admit to having a sexual relationship with her mother, but say there are many other guys and you couldn't possibly be her father. Exactly. Miss Fuel, so you're 31 years old. What happened that made you finally want to establish paternity? Well, Your Honor, um, in September of 2015, um, my brother was murdered. I'm so sorry. For no reason. And, um, that really opened my eyes. I mean, I went through a deep, dark depression. I've lost 90 pounds just off of depression and stress. And it's opening my eyes. Life is really short. Um, I shouldn't even be here. I shouldn't even have to bring him here to prove that he's my father. I just want closure, Your Honor. That's all I want. And you believe, Mr. Burnett, that she's just badgering you? That's what I believe. Why do you think she would even do that? I don't, I don't have no idea really why. You know, she's been my niece. Through and, marriage? Yes. So when were you told that she believed you potentially could be... That's never... I've never heard of it until, like, about two years ago. Really? So you really? Did, you, you didn't talk really. to my mom when I was never, a kid? Never. Never talked to your mom about nothing so until night... about two years ago. Um, I was told um, by a family member and... What were you told by this family member? That she looks like my family. So, for you, it just came out of the blue like yes. that? That's a lie. But that's not how it happened for you, No. You. My mom told me the night she was in labor, he was at a party, and he was going around telling everybody, oh, Michelle's at the hospital having my baby. That's a lie. 31 years ago. That's a lie. So, she admitted to having a relationship with him? Yeah. I've never been in a relationship with her mom, period. So, did you always grow up knowing he was your father, even though he would call you his niece? At the age of seven, this same family member told me that he was my father. My mom never... They lying. Um, so my mom never told me Walter was my father. She told me sh as an adult. She was embarrassed that he <laughs> was my father. That's why she never <laughs> came to me and said that. It was this other family member that told me that. She's like, embarrassed. Her mom was the one is known as the neighborhood girl. Everybody slept with their mom. Every, all my that's friends not, did. That's a lie. That's, did that's you? Truth. That's what we're trying yeah, to get down to the bottom of. So yeah, you but did I'm, sleep yes. with your mother. I did amongst uh, 20 of them, my friends. So How you did you know that? Were you there? They told me. You did okay. have sex with her mother. Do you know whether it occurred during the window of conception? No. It didn't? Not to my knowledge, no way. But you were told that it did, Ms. Fuel. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Your Honor. And you were told that he is your biological father. Then why ain't her mom here? Were you... Were you... Hold on. Don't come for my mama. I'm my mama's sick. Nobody, She's suffering man. from a loss. My brother I... was murdered. She can't handle this. She don't... I got this. Let's reset. Please. Mr. Burnett. Yes, ma'am? Were you around when her mother first found out she was pregnant. Do you remember that happening? Yeah. You do? Yes, I remember it happening. And so, when that happened, was there a certain guy that everyone said, okay, well, he's the father or she... Yeah, there, said... was, a, there was a white dude that was said was the daddy. So, that was the word on yeah. the street at that point. Exactly. You all kind of just said, all right, then it's his. Yeah, pretty and much. And you all said it's not... I went on with my life. Miss Fuel, did you ever hear about this gentleman being the person everyone thought was your father in he, the beginning? Yes, Your Honor. He was a possibility, but clearly I'm not mixed. <laughs> Who's giving you information? As an adult, I asked my mom, you know, be honest with me. She told me that there were... It was another possibility. Miss Fuel, have you attempted to have a father-daughter relationship at all? Have you tried to establish a relationship with Mr. Burnett? Yes, I'm the one who reached out to him. He even said... I... No, she attacked me on Facebook is what she did. Hold on now. What, what is going on now? Because he's... He... No, she made a comment on my daughter's page or something, and, and I was like, Toy, don't tell people I'm your dad when you don't know the truth. No, Your Honor. She, his daughter right there, posted a meme that said something about fathers ain't... 
she can agree with that. She knows he's he hasn't been in none of his three kids' life either. Whatever. He's a deadbeat father. Okay. It's, from, it's what I was told, and I commented 100. That's true. Does anybody have any of these messages so I can try to make sense yes, of them? Yes, Your Honor. I'd like to see them. Ron, can you hand me that evidence, please? There you go, Your Honor. Thank you. This is after her Facebook post. So, the first one starts, Mr. Burnett says, stop it, toy, there ain't no proof. Until I get proof, I love you like a niece. Your Honor, mind you, this is two days after my brother's murderers were captured. So, of course, I'm in my emotions. Of course, I'm in my feelings. And yes, I did badger him on Facebook. Yes, I did. I'm not gonna lie about it. So, let me go to the next one. It says, at some point, you said, like you said, after all these years, does it really matter? Yes, it does. I need to know who to blame for my childhood, all the suffering I had to go through. Yes, it matters, because I have siblings I don't know. I'ma prove you wrong, Walter. You respond, Mr. Burnett, prove your mama wrong, not me. Period. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. We've never had no bitterness in our life, ever other than this, what's going on right here. I've, I, I've never, I ain't got no harsh feelings towards her. I've always looked at her as my niece and... But do you understand, Mr. Burnett, because of what she's been told, she believes you're her father and it... When you but speak to been, her, it feels like she's being rejected. She's been told. That's just like me saying that he's my uncle. Well, I mean, she... You know, he's not. But listen... No, no, but no one in your family, no one close to you, no one you love and trust that knows you and knows the other person has told you that news. There's... It's different circumstances. Okay. I mean, I mean, really. Well, I know this may be difficult for you to accept and difficult for you to take in, especially since you regard her as your niece. But if you put yourself in her shoes for a minute, this girl is just running around trying to figure out who her real father is and people have fed her a story. Well, and then you admit, yeah, I did sleep with your mother. In her mind, she's saying, well, it's even more of a real possibility that what they're saying could be true. Okay. That's how she feels. I understand that, but how do I feel? I'm disappointed that you on Facebook, as old as you are, engaging in nonsense back and forth with a 30-year-old girl that's your niece. If she did that, you should have picked up the phone and said, come on, let's go out to lunch. I don't and we know need to have a conversation about what's going on because we're not gonna do this. Instead of going back and forth with a 30-year-old girl after her brother's died about what? something that you're so adamant is not the truth. I wasn't aware of nobody died. I didn't know nobody... What? I didn't know he died. What? I live in Arizona. I thought that I this know. was like your niece. Thank you. I, I, she is, but I live But in he Arizona. wasn't like your nephew? <laughs> I'm not saying that to be funny. I'm saying you said you've known this girl all her life and it was like your niece. No. Word didn't get back to you no matter where you live no. that her brother had been tragically murdered? No, not for weeks afterwards. I didn't... Ah, uh, she's my niece. That's, I don't really know mm -hmm. her other siblings. You didn't know the other siblings no, the way you No, I don't know them. Okay. I don't know him. So you did not get that information? No, ma'am. So when this was going on, when she says she was in a bad place because of her brother, you're not aware of that even exactly. happening at exactly. that point. That's why it wasn't like a long message. I just made a couple little comments like, Toy, don't say nothing unless you know. He told me that he was going to show up at my wedding and have the father and daughter dance with me, but he did not never. show up. That's never been You said never to said me. that? No. Oh my god. We're under no. oath, right? Yeah, we sure are. I hope so. You never told me? No. You never told me you was gonna... No, she's not my daughter. Why would I show up at a father daughter dance? Well, maybe because you were her uncle and you knew she didn't have a father. No, that's not it. So you never promised her that? No. Never had that conversation? No. You don't recall that? No. Wow. Did you ask him because you believe truly that he's your biological father? I didn't ask him. He volunteered. He offered. He said, I would be honored to have that first dance with you. I was in the hospital at the time, so... When were you in the hospital? Doesn't matter. I was in the hospital. Because you're lying. You're a liar. Whatever. That's all he does is lie. That's all I do. Why were you in this conversation that led to him do volunteering for this? I was taking it up on myself to get a DNA test. He said, okay, I'm gonna fly you down to Arizona. I'll pay for no, half... No, that never half, was ever I'll said. pay for half of your fare. Never we'll was We'll get a, a drugstore DNA test and do it that way. No way. All 
all of these conversations you say never happened? No, I have never said nothing about flying her to Arizona or... You say you would pay for no. half my ticket. Why would no. I have to pay for half? I shouldn't have to pay for nothing. I shouldn't either. You ain't pay for nothing. I ain't going to. You don't even take care of your three kids. Yeah. Mr. Burnett, I want to hear from your witness. I, I want to see if someone else can shed light on this. This, this story is um, a lot. Please stand, ma'am. Step to the podium and state your name for the court. I'm Janae Johnson. Ms. Johnson, you are Mr. Burnett's biological daughter. Yes, ma'am. Okay. And so, do you remember knowing Miss Fuel all your life? Was she, like, your cousin? No, I knew of her because, like they said, they married into my, my family, but that's it. I knew who she was. I've but never you didn't had any know contact her. with her, like, maybe, like, a barbecue or something where she was there, but it's never been, like, we have conversations or anything like that. You weren't cousins. You didn't hang out together. None oh, no. of that. But you've never heard uh, any rumors no. or things that your father could potentially be her biological father as well. No, ma'am. That's a lie. Now, why are you saying that's a lie? Because we talked about it on Facebook. Yeah, two years ago. But, okay, we talked about it, though. And what did you talk about? We talked about... She, t- uh, she was just like, well, my dad told me that um, it could be many possibilities. Her da- Whatever her dad fed her, she basically was talking about my mom, too. So, clearly, they had a discussion about it. So, clearly, you knew about it. We I never about said it. I didn't know about it. I just found out two years ago. Now, did your father say to you that he was one of those possibilities? Basically, he told me he had relations with her and there were other possibilities. He never said anything about him being the possibility. But he did say to you, she's looking for her father or she believes I'm her father. Yeah. So, when I had to reach out to her on Facebook, I asked her, I was like, hey, so I heard, you know, you're saying my dad is your dad. And then that's when we got into our conversation, basically basically her just telling me her side. Right. And I told her mine. And I can tell this really hurts you, Miss Fuel. Like, it you... does. It does. People don't understand. I suffered so much <laughs> throughout my childhood. I went through so much. <laughs> and I have... I'm carrying it. <sighs> My child was so rough. <laughs> and I get to see him take it with these other three kids. He even took care of a child that wasn't his. I'm a possibility, so why didn't you at least try to find out if I'm your child? But you over here taking care of another chick's baby that ain't yours, but you want to keep telling me, oh, your mama this, your mama that. You didn't even try. You didn't even try. Why didn't you try if you knew it was a possibility? I knew Stand up and be a man for history. your kids. I knew your mom's history. What about your history? You're oh, worse that, than her. That's your opinion. No, it's not. It's fact, I'm man. I'm worse than your mom. Yes, you are. You oh, are no. today. That's your opinion. Okay. No, it's not. Can you hear her, Mr. Burnett? She's just saying... I understand. No, I, 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 know, I know that she's hurting. No, you don't! But until the truth has been told or th- to us, you can't just <laughs> say stuff. That's just like her mama just said. Her mama said, this is... He's your dad. No, she didn't. She, she ain't 100% sure. My mama she, told me that. She's she was not. real with me. My mama was, was real with yeah. me. Well, she did she tell you about everybody else she yes, slept she with? Yes, she did, in? baby. All 20 everybody? people? Yes, she did. 12, 25 you, weren't, plus. you weren't even conceived yet. Why are you standing up? It doesn't matter up? here. Why are you it standing up? It doesn't matter. Up? I'm here. Okay, you don't listen. Listen. Wipe them tears. Listen. Listen. Wipe them tears. Wipe them tears. Let's get some order. Miss Fuel, did your mother, when you say your mother really kept it real with you, I want to be honest, if she did sleep with other people as well, did she give you their names yeah. too? She did. Yeah. Did you try to contact those men as well? No, it's only one other person. No way. This is what I need to ask you. Are you here hoping he's your father? I believe that he is. So I wouldn't be here because I feel feel like I'm carrying the shame. I think that's very real because most people can understand how you can feel confused, how you feel like you were left behind, how you feel like he's rejecting you. It really touches me because that's a tough burden to have to bear for a young girl. You did nothing to cause this. You know that, don't you? Yes, Your Honor. I'm happy that I'm here today with you all so that I can give you some answers because we need them. I have the results for you. Ron? Your Honor. Thank you. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Fuel v. Burnett, When it comes to 31-year-old LaToya Buell, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Burnett, you are not her father. Apologize, I'm sorry. Come on. 
It's so, okay, there's no known files, it's fine. Right. <laughs> Thank you for that. You're welcome. Miss Fuel, are you all right? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I will be. Um, but it does bring closure, and I'm, I really apologize. I'm sorry to both of y'all. Apology accepted. There's no apology needed, though. You were only going off of something you were told. And if you had to get answers to be able to move forward, so be it. Do you want to continue to look for your biological father? No, I can't. I'm not. No, ma'am. Ms. Melody, you and the defendant are separated and living in different states because he says he's not the father of your nine-month-old baby, Savannah. You've brought him to court to prove your case and demand he move home and be a father. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Smith, you say the plaintiff's continuous lies and infidelities are proof that you are not the father of her daughter and you refuse to move back in. Yes, Your Honor. So, Ms. Melody, how has this all affected your family? Well, he's... We live in totally different states. He's hundreds of miles away from us. My girls ask for him all the time. Um, sorry. It's okay. Take your time. He moved hundreds of miles away? Yeah. We live in different states. Like, we don't even talk on the phone. We talk through it. When we talk, it's on Facebook. No, no, no. I moved hundreds of miles away because no. when my baby was born, she came out five shades too dark compared to me. I mean... No. We're both very... She was two months no, early. No, no, we're both she very was white. two months early. I wasn't fully dilated. When she came out, she was bruised. She's not a different color. Yeah, that's the excuse you like to tell everybody, but... No. You... No, I, I have the pictures here. He hasn't even seen our kids in uh, months. He's been gone for months. No, you, you can see... He doesn't call, he doesn't help. I'm doing it all by myself. How did this relationship get so broken? I, to the point where you're moving away from your children? Yes, I've, I've caught her um, talking to people on several different dating websites, like no. Craigslist. I need to know the specifics. Tell me exactly what happened. Okay, Your Honor, I was going through her phone, like normal, I believe normal married couples do. They check, um, check up on each other's stuff. I mean, I do. They only, know. But only because there was a history of infidelity in the relationship. Ha! Now, now I'm getting the facts. So yes. you've had a history of infidelity in your relationship? In the marriage, too? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so you were doing a little investigation. Yes, Your Honor. So, going through her phone. So I'm going through her phone, looking, and I see that she's talking to some guy. So what do I do? I pick up my cell phone, I call him, and I say, you know, hey, who is this? That's when he tells me, oh, I had an ad on Craigslist looking for a girlfriend, and uh, oh. I buy, my wife, I buy cars Ashley, off of is Craigslist the one. And I fix them up. We, did, we used to do it together. We buy and sell, we buy cars, we sell them, we fix them up, we sell them, we make money on it. So this was a person, I don't, if he had an ad on Craigslist for a girlfriend, that's his business, but that's not why I contacted him. Problem. You contacted no problem. him because of a car? Yeah. And so Mr. Smith, in this ad, describe to the court exactly what you saw. I never saw the ad, that's what he told me it was. He told me the ad was that he was searching for a girlfriend and, and what else did he tell you? Nothing, really. I mean, after I started questioning him, that's when he shut down. He would not answer me. He hung up, and then he would never answer my calls again. So I really don't know to what extent that went to. But, but your spidey sense... Yes. Told, then... me, told me there was more. Told me there All was right. more. Right. So, Ms. Melody, why is it when your husband called him to ask about his Craigslist ad, he wasn't like, yeah, man, I got a car to sell? I mean, I don't know. We weren't, like, together. Okay. Yeah, okay. we, we ended up talking. Yeah, we ended up talking. There we go. But so it, let's just get to the truth. It didn't start off like. Okay, look, let's just start with the truth. You called him, maybe about the car at first. Yes. But then you kept talking. And how did that conversation go? Um, we were supposed to go out for drinks. We were supposed to meet up. We never actually did. Oh. Okay, now we're getting. It. Look, yep. that's it's why good. we're here. You don't come all the way to paternity court to come up in here and tell a lie because at the end of the day, the DNA is gonna show whether you're lying or not. So, this courtroom is an opportunity to just get it out. Tell it like it is. 
So you call the guy, you end up on the phone, which is why when Mr. Smith called him back, he didn't want to talk to him. He thought he had got, probably gotten in the middle of somebody's relationship, so he stopped answering and stopped taking his calls. Right? That's exactly what happened. So you making him think he crazy when you making a date to have drinks. So his spidey sense is right. <laughs> So now, Mr. Smith, this is one instance. What happened after that that caused you further doubt and suspicion? Well, she has a history of dating African-American men, Hispanic men, and that, that's really why when my baby was born, I thought that she's not mine. I mean, you can see here in the pictures, Your Honor, that I... Let me see those. Me, that, I mean, she's very dark. She's bruised. You feel like the coloring in her forehead indicates that she's African American, or do you feel like her skin tone you feel like is a darker just, skin just tone? Just her overall skin tone. Her is skin very tone dark. has more of an olive complexion, and you, of course, are a fairer complexion. Yes, Your Honor. Okay. When she was born, I wasn't fully dilated. So when she came out, like she was bruised. He wasn't there for her birth. I was on a business trip two hours away. Proof Plus, that you had no, house. yeah. Okay, okay question. The... Before she was even here, did you have so much doubt where you questioned whether or not she was your child? Yes, Your Honor. What was that based on? Um, right around Valentine's Day, she actually sent between five and seven nude pictures of herself to an ex. <laughs> I, w I went through her no, phone and no. I seen she was talking We weren't to him. together. So we again, just together. like I did the Craigslist guy, I called this guy off my phone. And he didn't want to talk to me at all. And you know what, I'm at the point in the relationship where I'm like, you know what, I really want to know what's going on. So I sent him $100 cash for him to tell me, just tell me what's going on with you and my girlfriend. So you called her ex? Yes. And he took your money? He took my money? And, and he told money. you? And he sent me the pictures. What'd he tell you? He didn't say anything. All I did was send me the pictures back that she had sent him. Wow. Yep. They were all topless nude pictures. Recent pictures? Yes, Your Honor. Yeah. She actually sent me the same ones. Oh! oh boy. So, Miss Melody, you smiling, so he's not lying. <laughs> oh, there, there's so much more to it that he's, yeah, he's gonna give his part. He's not gonna bring up what he had done, and I really don't wanna, like, bring that up right now. But, yeah, he knows what he did. He knows exactly what he did, and he cheated on me with many people. Okay. And he's just in here trying to act like he's the such a good person. No, he's not. Okay, we've I, all we've all made our mistakes, but before well, let, me, <laughs> <laughs> let me be clear, just so you know, Miss Melody, um, I don't think for one minute either one of you are angels. Uh, what I'm trying to figure out are the circumstances <laughs> surrounding the issues relating to the paternity claims. So you sent the pictures to this ex, right? Mm -hmm. Because you all had a falling out. Were there only pictures sent or was there also a sexual just, encounter? No, just pictures. So, Mr. Smith, when, you, when the guy sent you back these pictures, you thought she may have slept with this guy too? Yes, Your Honor, and I just recently found out that right around the time that she sent those pictures to him was when he actually came into town, right around the time she got pregnant. No. Okay. He, I haven't seen him in over two years. So you're saying when he came to town, you didn't see him? We haven't seen each other in over two years. Are there any other instances that make you doubt? No, he's just very jealous. He's like, I don't know, he comes up with stuff. I applied for jobs on Craigslist. I went and applied for a job for cleaning, just cleaning, and I could bring my kids. First he thought I was trying to get with the guy, and then he thought it was for a sexy maid I would never put an outfit on for someone I don't even know, let alone get paid for it and have my kids there. And so, no, I'm very, I've been faithful to him. I've never cheated on him. Okay, so bottom line is, before Savannah's born, you question her again because you have the whole incident with the Facebook pictures, with the nude pictures and the ex-boyfriend and the $100, and then he sends you the pictures. <laughs> That's hap that happened right before yes, Savannah. Yes. And now, this entire marriage is on the line. You've moved away to another state. 
she's by herself raising the kids. Are you sending her support? No. And now he's denying our two-year-old, too. He didn't doubt her. He didn't deny her until Savannah was born. He was there for her birth. He cut her umbilical cord. He was the first one to hold her. But no. Natalie, no. you were there for the entire birth? Yes, Your Honor. Were you there for Savannah, too? No, Your Honor. No. All right. And that's when so she ran So did you off. not show because you were at work or did you not show because you weren't coming anyway whether you were working or not? It was a little bit of both, to be honest. Okay. That's what I want, honesty. Um... Because you were so convinced that Savannah potentially was not your child. Yeah. You were not even going to be a part of the birth. <clears throat> Did you go to any doctor's appointments? Anything? Yes, Your Honor. I have been to several doctors. He went to one doctor's appointment for Savannah. What, it just got too much and then you just said, you know what, I'm not even coming for this baby that could potentially be mine to be born? Yeah, because there's so much infidelity on her part that... I mean, I'm still young. I've been supporting her and the kids for years now. No. And for her to just disrespect me like that and go off cheating... I've never everybody cheated that on she him. Wants to. He's the only one who's ever cheated in our relationship. I've been faithful. Yeah, I talked to somebody. But when I, we were together, I was... We were together. We were a team. Now we're not together. Now I'm raising my kids on my own. We're married. We're supposed to be together. And now you're in a different state. Like, I'm... I... Why marry me? He, we got married after Savannah was born. If you had such doubts, would you marry me? Would you get a tattoo of all of our names on your back? Well, this is what That's I'm permanent. trying to figure out. This is exactly what I'm trying to figure out. Now, you have, the tat you have tattoos of the children's names on you? Yes, sir. The kids you now say you don't think are yours? Yes, sir. <clears throat> well, what day did you get the tattoo? Huh. I the got point the... of that question is, is you, as you all talk, it's like you're off more than you're on. Right. But you're married. When you're married and you have an argument, you're not broken up. It's, you just had an argument. It's more like we're roommates with kids. I mean, that's how it's been. No, we're... Then why get married? I want my kids to have their father. I want us to be a family. I didn't the, have... The, the bottom line is if the kids are not mine, I want a divorce. I mean, I have the I'm, papers here. I'll go ahead and sign my half of the papers. If, if they're not mine, that's it. Good, I'll sign it too. I'll sign it even if they are yours. If you're not gonna step up... Then whatever. So, Mr. Smith, you're over there. Jerome, hand me that paperwork he just signed. <sighs> I'll sign it, too. You can hand it to me. Miss Melody, you were explaining to this court you said you didn't grow up with your father. No, I didn't. And it affected me a lot. How did it affect you? I don't know. I, I would stay up all night just, like, hoping that my mom and my dad would get back together. And I was so mean to my mom for it. Like, I blamed her for everything. And I don't want my girls to do that. I don't want them to feel like it was my fault. I tried. I've been trying. Like, I wanted my family. I did everything I could. Like, I've gotten... Like, even though he's cheating on me... You didn't want it that bad him. if you're gonna send him naked pictures and talk to all these guys and meet up with guys. You didn't want it I've that bad. Met up with you didn't want it that bad, did you? I'm the young one here. I'm the youngest. You're three years older than me. Then don't have kids. You're three years older than me. If you're and so young, then I have to be the mature one. Then I'll learn. Yeah. Don't have okay. kids. Right. Wrap it up. Okay. <laughs> right. I'm raising my kids by myself. I didn't sign up for this. I didn't have kids on my own. I didn't. I don't want to be raising two kids on my own. They ask for them all the time. Okay. You just handed me divorce papers. Yes, Your Honor. You're saying if these children are not yours. You want a divorce. Yes, Your Honor. And you've signed your half of the paperwork. Yes, Your Honor. You can't salvage this marriage otherwise. Both children have to be yours? Yes, Your Honor. I think it's time for the results. <laughs> Jerome, I'd like to start with the older child, Natalie, please. <clears throat> Thank you. You're welcome. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Melody versus Smith, when it comes to two-year-old Natalie Smith, it has been determined by this court, Mr. Smith, you are her father. <laughs> Let's move on to Savannah. Mm. 
These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. In the case of Melody versus Smith, as it pertains to nine-month-old Savannah Melody, Mr. Smith, In the case of Melody versus Smith, as it pertains to nine-month-old Savannah Melody. Mr. Smith. You are Savannah's father. <laughs> no. No, I'm but so all glad. he's missed out on all this time. There, you know, Savannah's crawling now, and he's missing out on all of it. And he had you to are take, missing we had to out on court. some very important moments, Mr. Smith. Yes, sir. I really hope we can work this out now. I mean, now that I know for sure that they're both mine. So... I mean, if you're willing to work it out, I am. What did I hear, Miss Melody? <laughs> I, yeah, I am. You're willing to work things out? Yes. So with that said, I have your divorce papers here. You can, you can keep them, Your Honor. I can keep them? Yes. So I can rip them up? Yes. All right, can I rip them? All right, I like it. That's what I want to hear. Now, it would be different if you were just a young man sowing your oats. I am. And you had let all these women know that, listen, I'm a, I'm a dating man. I'm single, but you're not single. No. I am. You're not no. single. You are married to her. That was an accident. That was a... No. So now it was an accident. Okay. So now it was an accident. And so... Right. And so I hope you are not suggesting that your relationship with her is an accident because you have three children with her and a family as well. <laughs> In addition... You have another child with Ms. Austin. The kids, I love my kids dearly, but I shouldn't have You just married. don't love their mothers. Correct. So, Correction. let me ask you this. Correction, he's lying because he was texting me um, a couple of weeks ago telling me how he still loved me. So, you honestly still love me. You just, the relationship just over with. You, you married know. to him. Yes, but well, we're, we're trying to get divorced. I, I want nothing well, to do I'll it right now. Well, I'll give you here. all this news, Flash. You're still married until you divorce. And you have three children who are counting on you to handle that maturely and respectfully, unlike how you acted in here today. Now, let's go back to Miss Austin. Have you gotten yourself together? You okay? Step on up here. I want to hear from you. Now, you say you are the soon-to-be Mrs. Wallace even though that's technically still his wife. What are you thinking that you're engaged to a man that's still married? That don't make no sense. And then he's gonna be in a relationship with you and say the same thing. He cheated because he boring and you can't cook. So why would you do the same stupid thing <laughs> I did? Miss Reed, Miss Reed, give Miss Austin a chance. I really want to know from you. What are you thinking? Probably just falling falling for what he tells me. What's he saying? You falling for what he tells you? But if you hear what he's done in all of these accounts of these women, do you realize all you all are telling the same story? It's the same story. What are you thinking? Why would you say you want to be Mrs. Wallace? I thought right here got himself together. I thought he pulled himself together to be with in a relationship with me. That's what I thought. You did? Why did you think that? He stopped doing everything. He stopped cheating. He even, like, gave me his phone. But did you know that Miss Reed said he just texted her a couple weeks ago and said she, he wanted to be with that's her and Miss I didn't know that he texted Dominique. I didn't know that he texted Kendra Lynn. I didn't know. This is all new to me today. That's false. I didn't text them. Yeah, I, like... So you're a changed man? No. Yes. Your Honor, the cycle never... Like, the cycle is not gonna stop with right here. All it's right. Not. You know what? I'm 
I'm going to get to the paternity results in a moment, but uh, first, I need to read the results of Mr. Wallace's lie detector test. Jerome, can you hand me the envelope, please? Here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Mr. Wallace, you were administered a lie detector test in advance of taking the lie detector test. You admitted to having sex with four other women that were not involved in this case during the past three months. Before you were ever asked a question, you just admitted it. So during this test, you were asked, other than what you told me, have you had sex with any other women in the past three months? You had admitted in advance that you had sex with four other women that weren't involved in this case, and the lie detector indicated that you were telling. So during this test, you were asked, other than what you told me, have you had sex with any other women in the past three months? You had admitted in advance that you had sex with four other women that weren't involved in this case, and the lie detector indicated that you were telling the truth. So, this means you had sex with four other women, not Ms. Austin, not Ms. Roberts, not Ms. Reed, in the past three months. That's what you admitted to, and the lie detector confirmed it. Now, Ms. Austin, do you still want to be Mrs. Wallace, knowing this? No. I can't hear you. No. It seems like it almost hit you by surprise, like you weren't expecting to hear that. Look at me. Don't be ashamed. Look, first of all, let's really keep it real. You're not the first woman nor the only woman in this room that has loved the wrong man for too long. So that right there, let's just, let's just be honest with that. Look, and Ms. Reed is clapping for you on that. So you don't hold your head down, lift your head up. So you made a bad decision. You love somebody that didn't love you back the way you wanted them to. That's human nature. We go, we go through that as women. But what I want to understand is, do you understand clearly what I've been trying to say to you? Yes. That you've got three women in this room telling the same story of lies about one man. Now he's admitted in advance of taking the lie detector test, you know what? Why even take the lie detector? I'll just tell the truth. What I don't understand is, Mr. Wallace, you tell me all the truth, but you don't tell anybody you're sleeping with any truth. But you stand in here, and when I ask you something, you just say, yep, that's correct. <laughs> that is correct. They know what I am. They know what I do. So, listen, I'll tell you what you are. A liar. Thank you. A cheater. You a ass heartbreaker. Too. No, don't say I, I am nothing. You because you cheat on me. No, you didn't. If no, I could is go that back the hands of time, I would have done more things when I was. Is that the, is that the lies you said? So what you're saying and is, if you could go back in time, you would cheat on women, your wife yes, more. Yes, I would do it again. Because you feel because like she, she is a whore. She cheated on me. She slept with my friends. He said she is a whore. She, go, she has about six Let's boyfriends some right Let's now. Get some order. You don't come oh, over here and try to act like you so perfect. You're not gonna address a woman in this court. That you better pipe order. yourself down. Yes. Oh, man. Listen. Like Listen to me. You don't flip people off. You don't use profanity in my courtroom. You understand me? No. You want to go out of here? Yeah. Okay. Mr. Wallace, get out the court. Get, get out, out the court. The court. You know what? Me. Hey, you what are you going to do about it? Let's go. Get out, out of the courtroom, Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, leave the courtroom. Go out of the courtroom. I don't care. Go out of the courtroom, Mr. Wallace. Mr. Wallace, I know you had to have a moment. Sometimes we have to have that in life, but I'm glad you're back.
I'd like to apologize to you and the court and the bailiff and to Miss Reed and Miss Austin and Miss Roberts as well. The thing is, where I'm from. Go ahead, baby. Talk. Tell me. Came here for my kids. I never had a father. To... Take your time. I never had anybody to show me how to treat a woman or to be a man or... I'm just here for my kids. Where I'm from, the way that I treat women, it's, it's the only way I know. That's the only thing that's accepted from where I'm from. Just need help on, just need help. And that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. What do you want from this? Because let's be honest, you didn't have to come. I want to be a better father and a better role model to my kids. Yes. Now, I need to say something to you, now that you've made your apology. As I sat here earlier and watched you, I said to myself, wow, this guy's really acting like a jerk. But I think the important word in that sentence was acting. Because what we see now is you're really not that jerk. That's a tough exterior you put on to mask a lot of the hurt that you felt. It's from the things and the issues you've been a victim of. Your childhood, not having a father. And I want to say to you in front of everybody that you could have walked out that door and never come back. And that's what a boy would have done. And what did you do? You walk back in. I'm proud of you for that. I'm so proud of you for that. Because when you say to me, I've never learned how to treat a woman or how to be in a relationship, that's the truth and that's what this courtroom is about. Sometimes you got to lay it on the line. Because when you tell the truth, that's where people know where to meet you. I want to meet you exactly where you are. You say, Judge, I don't have a clue. And I say, you know what? Ronyell, I got your back. And we are going to make sure you have the resources to become the kind of man and the kind of father I know you want to be. Okay? <laughs> now it's time for the DNA results. Are you ready? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, Miss Austin, because things were so volatile, it's an emotional time, I'm going to ask that you leave the courtroom. And Jerome, if you could escort her sure, through that door. Thank you. And I'm going to ask Ms. Roberts back in. Welcome back, Ms. Roberts. You all right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Like I told Mr. Wallace, sometimes in life we have a moment where we let our anger get the best of us, but I think it's a wonderful thing that you were woman enough to walk back through that door and come and get the truth you came here for, okay? Are you ready for the results? Okay. Jerome, will you hand me the envelope, please? Certainly. There Thank you. This report, as prepared by DNA Diagnostics, reads as follows. In the case of Roberts versus Wallace, when it comes to baby Danielle Wallace, Mr. Wallace, you 
Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Roberts versus Wallace, when it comes to baby Danielle Wallace, Mr. Wallace, you are the father. I gotta go. <laughs> Mr. Wallace, how you feel? I'm glad that he's my son, and I apologize for all the pain and suffering that I caused all three of these women for like the past two years. It's been going on every day. And I apologize. You know, there are times in life when you have to just look at a situation and know, I have just done everything possible that I could do wrong. You blew it. Okay. Now what? You stated your truth. You've made an earnest apology, and we know it's earnest. And look what we have here. Thank you, Miss Roberts. Come on back in. I believe Mr. Wallace wanted to say something to you. He said it when you left. Mr. Wallace, go ahead. I apologize to you for everything I put you through. You're a great mother to my son. My other kids that I have with everybody else and to the rest of your kids. You've been nothing but nice since I met you. You're a good person and a great mother, and I apologize. Very good. <laughs> Ms. Roberts, is there something you'd like to say? Yes. I just feel like... You know, it ain't been nothing but, like, favoritism with my son ever since I had him from the stuff they done said about him and stuff. He is an innocent baby. Like, I ain't have a father in my life, so I don't want my kids to grow up not having no father in their life. And all the times he wasn't around him, just because if he was with her or the mirror or whatever, I felt like that wasn't right. I feel like if you accept, get one, get the other, no matter what they say, how angry you think they gonna be. And I felt like my baby didn't deserve that, period. He didn't. And you know what? While you were outside of the courtroom, Mr. Wallace has already said that he intends to right his wrong. And he wants to be the father to his children, all of them. So now, for your child's sake, you have to encourage his father. You hear me? Ms. Reed, can you support that? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Wallace, looks like to me, this day turned out a lot better than you thought. Okay? I'm counting on you. Those children are counting on you. Get it done. Nowhere to go but up from here, right? Yes, ma'am. Good. Court is adjourned.